The first rule of marketing says that being first is better than being better. Let's talk about it. Hi guys, Fabio Palvelli here with another video. Today we're going to talk about marketing. If you're an artist or a designer and you're trying to up your business game, you've come to the right place. At least I hope so. If you run a business or if you're thinking about it, you need to know that marketing is at the base of everything. This is where a lot of creativity happens. This is what makes a business different from another. Now, according to this book, The 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing, written by Rees and Trout in 1993. Think about it, this book is almost 30 years old and is still a bestseller. The first rule of marketing is the rule of leadership. What this rule says is that if you enter a market with an idea that gains market traction and you're the first one to do so, you will likely retain the dominance in that market, despite having a competition that in the long run might be better than you. Now, this is attributed to a basic human behavior. We recognize merit in being first. It's very simple. Now, think of the first man who walked on the moon. You probably remember his name. It was Neil Armstrong. Do you remember the name of the second man who walked on the moon? Probably not. I do because I'm a nerd. It was Buzz Aldrin. Ladies, one at a time, please. That's never funny. I don't know why I do that. Now, the same thing goes for the name of the first man who navigated to America. We probably all know it. It was Christopher Columbus. Cristoforo Colombo in Italian. In reality, in the 60s, they found out that it was a Viking who discovered America. But anyway, the point is that you probably do not know the name of the second person who went to America. This is attributed to Amerigo Vespucci, another Italian, and this is where the name America comes from. But anyway, it's irrelevant. In business, companies understand the importance of being first, because when you're first, chances are that you're going to be a leader in that market. If you think about iPads, for example, and the market of tablets, we tend to use the name iPad even for tablets which are not iPads. If you look at the sales of tablets and you look at the market leader, coincidentally, if you look at the sales of tablets, the market leader is Apple with the iPad. If we think about the market of sugar drinks, we think of Coca-Cola. If we go to a restaurant and we ask for a Coke, the waiter might bring you a Pepsi. And chances are that you'll be okay with that because the word Coca-Cola encompass all types of cola. If you look at the global sales of cola, then Coca-Cola is the leader. That's not a coincidence. We can go on and on with all these examples, but let's try for a second to make a point about the design industry. Now, with that information, you might say, well, Fabio, then we're all screwed because as an artist or as a designer, we can never really be true leaders in our sector. Everything has already been done. We will always just do more of what has already been done. So what's the point? Now, luckily for us as designers, there are two small, let's call them exception to the rule, although there are not really exceptions, but anyway, the first one is that because of our work, we are very much bound to technology. And as technology changes and it, it, and it evolves, we have the opportunity to always redefine our position within our industry or within a specific niche of our industry. To give you a practical example of what I'm talking about, think of the car industry. BMW, Audi, Mercedes, they dominate the car industry. But if I were to ask you which car was the best electric car, you would probably think of Tesla. They were the first main electric car producers and retailers, and they still hold the position as market leaders. Again, not a coincidence. In the field of motion pictures, for example, Warner Brothers dominated the market for a very long time. They probably still do, maybe I'm wrong, I, it doesn't matter. As technology evolved and VFX became more and more technical, new companies like ILM or Pixar started to emerge. These companies were among the first one and they're still leaders in their respective field. Again, not a coincidence. The other exception to the rule is the fact that since we're working mainly in the B2B sector, so business to business, the decision makers who work with us, who are our clients, 
they change regularly. So one aspect that helps people making a decision about whether or not they want to work with us and more important in recognizing the value that we can bring is how much we have been in business. Because think about it, anyone will naturally be drawn to trust somebody who has a longer time experience in any specific field. This is why it is so important as an artist or as a designer to take care of our mental health because one key to being able to work and do something that we love and succeeding at doing it is to be able to do it for a long time. So let us quickly recap what we have learned today. Thing number one is that being first is often better than being better. Thing number two is that technology can help us redefining our positioning in the industry as pioneers. The last thing, thing number three, is that reputation is very important, but it takes time to build, and so one needs to be patient. You need to keep working hard and take care of your mental health because this is a long time or long-term game. And that's it. I hope that you found some value in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Fabio Palvelli. Have an amazing one.